Hi everyone, uh, in today's tutorial we are going to uh, learn how to make the sticky scroll animation. So uh, let's take an example from Kramer's website itself. Sticky scroll is something which we see so commonly being used everywhere. So it's a good idea to learn how to do that. So in this particular example on Framer's pricing page, we see how site plant is getting stuck on top with the nav bar. And underneath, there's a very interesting thing happening. The titles like hosting, publishing, and editor, it is getting sticky with site plants, but it is also changing based on the content which is being focused on. So let's look at how we can recreate this exact same interaction on Framer. So here I have, um, recreated the entire pricing structure that we see on Framer's website, but it's not sticking as you can see. So we'll go ahead and fix that. So the first thing that we see is sticking on top is the site plan. So we'll select that stack and try and make it sticky. But as you can see, it's unavailable. That is because we have not defined the area or the portion for which we want site plans to be sticky on top. So we'll go ahead, select the entire section for which we want a sticky header and then we're going to create a stack out of it. So adding stack automatically adds a gap of 10 pixels. So we'll go ahead and make that zero and rename our stack to um, all items. And then we are going to select the site plan stack again and make it sticky. And this time it will be available. You must also notice that I have added a 63 pixels padding from top. That is because we want the site plans to be sticky beneath uh, our uh, navigation bar and the height of the navigation bar is 63 pixels. So adding the 63 pixels padding from top will ensure that our site plan starts right under the nav bar. Now we'll go ahead and check if it's working well. Well, it doesn't seem to be working and you know why? That's because we have not changed the overflow properties of our new stack that we created. So we're gonna go select that and change the overflow from hidden to visible. For any scroll to work, for any sticky scroll to work, we'll have to ensure that's always, overflow properties are always set to visible. And now it seems to be working, but then we'll have to fix the bottom headings as well. So what I've done here is I have divided the entire section into different uh, stacks. Each stack contains of a heading and the details. For example, under hosting, I have the title hosting and the details that go under hosting. We have done this because we want hosting the title to be sticky for that particular section only. So that is why we have divided and created multiple sections out of this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select all the titles at once and go ahead and make it sticky. So let's just select it quickly and um, like that. And we will make it sticky. So as you can see, the padding from top now is 201 pixels. That is because now we have added the height of the site plan structure to that of the nav bar because we want the hosting and other titles that are there in the sections to be visible, to be sticky under the site plans uh, structure. So now we have this and let's see if it's working. Well, it seems to be working, but then we don't want this to behave like this and go and cross the site plans uh, structure like that. So what we're gonna do is we have to define the area where we want the sticky scroll to happen. So we're gonna select in the entire structure here under the site plans and add a frame. This will ensure it doesn't go beyond this frame, which is happening now. All the headings are going above and beyond. So let's just make it visible and um, see if it's working now. Well, it seems to be working really nicely. It's very smooth. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you next time.